welcome to this video. Since it turned out to be rather lengthy, I'm giving you an extra introduction. So, bonus. So, this is future me introducing past me, although technically I'm both past me because this is a video after all. And we are going to explore an example similar to one I cover in my book, Code Better in Delphi. And you can go to learndelphi.tv to find it. The focus of this video is isolating components in your code using interfaces through dependency inversion. This is an incredibly powerful technique, and while I only touch on it briefly here, it's essential for clean and maintainable code. We'll be adding logging to our application, and application is kind of a loose term in this case, a task that often results in tangled code if not handled properly. Directly calling logging code functions can introduce unwanted dependencies across your entire application. Instead, we'll look at a solution that keeps your code base clean and avoids turning it into a spaghettified mess. G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv, and in this video, we're going to carry on with our quick logger video that we started a few, a few videos back, but I'm just going to create a new Windows VCL application. And if you don't already have quick logger installed, you can go into Tools, Get It Package Manager, And yeah, quick logger, there it is. And it's already installed. So what I'm going to do, let's save project as. Something like that, I'm not sure. Um, main form and Okay, so our project is all saved, and I am going to add a new unit, which is going to be an interface. Oh, actually, we want a uh, I equals interface. Okay, and in our project file, I'm going to want to add. Dot logger and in there we'll have our okay our procedures and we'll see we've got uh, info warning error critical we've got success done debug trace and exception and I'm gonna write an abstract interface to logging, for logging in general. So not just quick logger, but for if we want to add other logging providers. So I'm going to have a uh, debug, and I'm just going to call it D. And it's going to copy this a few times. Uh, info warning error and critical. So Okay, so that's basically our interface, and they need to take a parameter. Um, Like so. So I'm just going to copy and paste that into each of these. Let's make sure I oops, have got <laughs> open recent. Uh, so that's probably I could trace might be another one that I might want, but uh, these are the the levels of debugging or logging I, I want to provide to the application. And so I save that unit and call it logger interface. And I am also, well, I'm going to add a bar my logger. Now I want to initialize that, and what I'm going to do is create a 
T null logger, which is a my logger, inherit from interfaced object. I missed class. That's what I've missed. Okay, and now I'm missing the implementation of all of these. So I'm just going to copy those, stick them in the protected section because I don't actually ever want to be able to call these and I don't need these comments. So I'm just going to hold the alt, alt key down and drag with a mouse. And in my null logger, I'm not going to do anything. So I can now say uh, initialization. Create another logger. And so this means that without creating anything uh, from the main form, oh, okay. we can do it on create. If I use logger interface, and maybe I'll probably possibly want to put that in a different, put this in a different um, unit. It's okay there for now. And we can go log the and our message and create. And let's let's add a destructor here while we're here. And this will mean that I can call these this this interface and it's not going to uh, <laughs> fail fail terribly. So if I include a unit, say in a unit um, te unit test case, something like that, uh, it's it's not going to be a problem. All the all the logging methods, logging is this horrible thing that you end up polluting your application with. You, there's there's no real nice way of putting logging in without keeping it separate from like all your business logic and and stuff like that. It, it goes everywhere and is a mess. And there's no nice way of doing it, unfortunately. So you kind of want to minimize the impact to your application as much as possible. And having just an interface is quite a good way of doing that. And unfortunately, so we have a, a global variable here called log. Um, if you're starting an application from scratch, you can pass around a logger instance to, to your various parts of your application. But that, that, that is also just becomes messy and you've got this extra parameter everywhere. You might want to do it in some, some instances, but rather than calling this a global variable, We'll call it a singleton, and that makes it all right. Oh, it doesn't really. But anyway, so we can run this, and of course, it's not going to do anything at this point. Um, we're, we're basically calling methods that don't do anything. So my next step is I want to implement some logging. What I'm going to do is copy this. And I'm going to have t abstract logger. And then add virtual abstract onto each of these. Because it can it can make implementing things a lot simpler. And we will probably come back to this. I think we will um what are we going to do next? Yes, we'll Let's say we want to do some logging. Um, so it included quick logger. So we can add to the oh, let's grab this. Let's write in here. So this is the uh, GitHub page for quick logger, and I'm going to add a file logger. Uh, so basically, want to add that. Okay, not console. Provide a file somewhere there. We get files. Come on.
Okay. And I might put this down here. Now, last time we used the global variable, but what we might do instead is go the Yes. Dot. Yes. For those. We're off now. Oops. Ah, okay. I've copied the wrong things. That's right. Okay. Oops. Did I rotate? Enable true is there. We go. Sorry about that. Okay. So we have. Uh, we don't need to specify the type anymore. Okay. So. We've created a a logger, but in our form, we don't want to call a quick logger log logging. We want to call our abstract interface, which is in logger interface. So I'm going to create a new unit, and we'll save that as logger with logger implementation something like that i don't know it'll do Quick logger equals okay and this is where we need to Include our logger interface, and it's going to be T abstract logger. Oops. But we are going to need, need to um, write our implementation, so we'll come to here. And I'm just going to grab these ones. I need to add override onto the all of them. Oops. Like so. And we need to call quick logger. So we can pass in, so this is protected because we don't actually want to call these directly. We only want to call them from our interface. We do need a constructor, and um, let's let's come that for now. I want to add quick logger. and oops, in our quick logger. logger and that that is and quick dot logger so I'm going to be explicit because otherwise things might get a little bit confusing um, no quick logger implementation Let's say T logger but I, I'm gonna say T logger just to make sure I don't get it confused with any other uh, uh, T logger that I might I might end up implementing myself. Okay, and that's going to be one of these as well. Ah, oh, I'm going to be lazy. I'm just going to call it L. So I'm going to say 
L and the sign L. Like so, and so D becomes L dot debug message. And you can have a whole bunch of these. E I That's a warning. And now uh, critical. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? L debug. L dot error. Uh, L dot um, info L dot one. Okay, <laughs> that makes much more sense. So I should be able to compile that. And so in our uh, Quick logger test, there we go. I'm just going to save that. And so I can say log is assigned. In fact, I might even say logger dot log is assigned just to make sure there's not another log um, that might. I think there's one in uh, quick log, quick, uh, quick dot logger possibly. T. E, the T abstract logger, that's cool. Dot create logger. And logger is our global logger. Um, so we, we could create a local one if we wanted to, but pretty easy to use that one. It's, it's already created. And so this time, when I run the application, I've done things correctly, and close it, and we'll look in the, there should be a file, logger.log, I bring that over, uh, it's created it, it has not logged anything, so we might just have to do a little bit of an investigation as to why that's the case. Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know, because we've got log all, and that doesn't include debug, which is what we were using. So I'm just going to get log verbose and everything. Okay, so that that should now um, let's. Kill those. I guess go to that one. And we should have form create and destroy. So, what we've done is in our main form, we've, you know, we've had to pollute it with these log calls. There's, there's no real way around that, uh, not without being very creative. But it has no dependence on QuickLogger. So I could add a, another implementation of a logger into, um, into here and rather creating rather than creating a the quick logger that we created, I could create, create something else, which is what we're going to do. So if I go file new unit, save as, uh, strings logger and we want to use our logger interface unit and what else do we need? I think that's it. Ah, sissy source. Because we're going to be using um, T strings. Type T equals 
Logger. I'm going to need protected and public sections. So first off, I'm going to have an L, which is a underscore XL string list. Uh, we'll go with, go with L. The strings, Mathis. There we go. Bit of a uh, senior moment there. Let's go into our interface, and again, I'm just going to grab all those, and in our strings logger. In fact, I could have grabbed them from the other one, but and we also need to create. And it's going to need a parameter, which is a D strings. Really careful with anyway. Okay, and in here, um, That one going into D. Um, so, and then I can copy that everywhere. Really, we're only using E, uh, but it's okay. Oops. And W. Now, this is where I do something absolutely horrendously horrible, uh, but for the <laughs> for the purposes of this. So, in our uh, main project, I'm just going to cancel that one, and after we create our form, in our main form, I'm going to add a memo. So I had a, had a panel to align at the top. And then memo, align client, and give that caption line here. That's cool. Okay. Strings. Create form forty two dot. Oh, uh, it's the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Right. The strings logo. Constructor. Okay, and in our form, we're going to need a button on the panel. Button debug, and if I align that right and align with margins. Okay, so we've added uh, the debugging here. Now we might want the debugging both in the this form and in the uh, in the file logger. So I'm going to go back to our logger interface, and I'm going to add one more um, class in here. Those. And we're going to need all those. 
it not virtual abstract, so I can copy them from here. Like so. And they're of course protected because we never want to call them directly, only want to call them from the interface. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to for now have a uh, tier of i so in the constructor. Create log array. It's one of those. Okay, let's sort out the constructor first. So, uh, log array, and then in each of these methods, I'm going to go uh, a for loop, for in loop, l in loggers do, and I don't need to begin end, but I'm going to say if l dot, and on this one it's d. So we're just going to go through uh, l, oh, thank you, let's get rid of that. Put the bar in there. There we go. So and now I just want to copy this to all the places I'm using it and change this one one letter. I might be able to do something clever with anonymous methods or something like that so that doing it again. Uh, L dot E. <laughs> L. L dot C. Okay, there we go. Uh, that one's an I, and then the W. Okay, so we are now, we can pass in an array, ah, yes indeed. Okay, so I want to inherit from abstract logger, not, there we go. Okay, so now we have a multi-logger. So we go back to our project file. And what we want to do now, I am... Hmm, so loggers. Let's say... Of... And we'll create a an array, oops, an array with two null objects in it. And from here, our quick logger zero is going to get that. And uh, loggers. One, it's going to get that one, and uh, T, T, what you logger dot create without array. And the reason I added the in the multi logger the check for uh, assigned was that we can have nulls in the array, so we can predefine it a bit more easily. Uh, or I could create them, that's one way to do it. Uh, another way of doing it would be, I could just create them in place. So in here, in create here, I could have multiple loggers, but I could say in here, oh. so like this here, and say, log dot the um, uh, 
something along those lines. So this log message will uh, be yeah, probably this log message <laughs> will um, get logged to uh, let's run it. So this will get logged to the file, but not the form. So click a button, and if we have a look again at I'll always open on the other other screen, but that's all right. So we have logging initialized, form create, and then button click in our file, but we only get the button click so far. And I close this, and this is where things get um, a little bit disturbing for me because uh, at some point, this, um, if we did any more logging, so after application run, I might say, you know, dot d application terminated or finished or ended something like that application end like that to, to mirror our end here so i'm not sure that this uh <laughs> this form is still still created at this point after the application run so that that kind of is it's kind of alarm bells but i tested this before and it did actually work uh, without raising exceptions so maybe the, the the forms get destroyed after um this after the application goes out of scope or fin in finalization so this is there i think you checked so oh yeah so it'll be um done application it'll get freed there somehow um but anyway so so it's probably still okay but if we freed this form earlier or something like that uh chaos could ensue so what i want to do to my multi-logger is i have to extend it just a little bit so let's go back to our logger interface and rather so i'm going to add two two more two more methods so uh, Add logger, oops, and and really they should be um, okay. They should be definitely be const as their interfaces, and oh, that should be a const as well. Really, not such a big deal. Um, yeah, I think there is there is some code that executes possibly on. On dynamic arrays. Okay, and I need those two methods. Now, at this point, um, a T array is not good. I mean, we could add and remove, do it manually, but um, why bother going to the effort when it's already done for us? System dot generic collections, and this becomes. And create we go um, the list of uh, what did I call that? Uh, T list of logger. Yeah, I'm logger. and then arrange that. Okay, and seeing we're now creating an object, uh, we need to free it. So, yeah. Um, Logos dot free. Okay, and so everything else should pretty much execute just the same. Uh, we do need to add the. 
complete. Remove this out. Okay, so that, that means I can go into here, uh, our quick logger, oh, and create a default parameter like so. So let's just verify that things are still working. Not quite. Create. Logos add range. Okay, that should be good. And coin D. That should be good. So let's uh, do a little bit of debugging. Oh, I see. Because we shifted this up. Okay, that's really obvious. So, so I'm going to go Oh, that should, should have worked. Okay, so var ml is that. Multi logger create. It's no longer loggers. Um, we just create that blank. Uh, ml dot add logger. And then I'm going to add t create. Like so. So that's that's one logger created. And then and then what I'm gonna do after here, ML dot remove logger. Okay, have I got everything right? So this is still all the same. This is initializing our quick logger stuff. And I might put that on the same in the same group there. And so we create a new multi-logger and we're adding to it a quick logger. We're making our main logger the in fact I'm get rid of that. Our multi-logger is the, the, our main logger. And later on, we're creating a, a stringless logger. We're adding that. And then after the, when the application terminates, we're removing it. So we should be back to where we were. And that I feel a little bit, a little bit more comfortable in that we're removing that multi-logger. But we may well, if this main form was actually a logging form, uh, we may want to initialize the logger uh, in here and edit uh, in in some fashion. But so what we've got in the end is we have added logging to our application, and we've not we've added two two type two different types of logging from two different providers. One we've written ourselves, and one uh, which is Quick Logger. And we've done this via an interface called logger interface. In fact, in fact, I'm just going to create a new unit and call it. Yeah, let's save as. Logger, and uh, logger interface, and from here. For that in here, and of course, come down to 
Okay, and then rather than having in our uh, main form, this just becomes a logger. And our um, main project should still be the same because the same variable names, just in different units. Ah, oh, <laughs> except. Uh, um, I have to prepend that's in here, so I'm just going to say just to stop the confusion. There we go. That should that should be pretty much the same. Okay, so throughout our application, we will have lots of these log methods. With um, I've just got this is debug information. Maybe this should be, you know, an I for information or something like that. Uh, but we'll have lots of these methods. We only need to, need to include this unit, and it also adds the kind of adds a dependency on the logger interface as well. But there's nothing nothing in here really that's would would necessarily want to abstract away. So effectively, our, our logging code is not restricted to a particular logging provider. And this is a extremely long video on doing this. Um, so if you've watched to the end, uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm Alistair Christie. Do grab a copy of one or more of my books. Go to learndelphi.tv and grab a copy of Code Fast in Delphi or Code Better in Delphi. I've done this in one take, so apologies if this is <laughs> a bit weird. I'll try and edit it down a little bit. So I will see you in the next video.